Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who ordered a Tesla using my referral code. And we heard and seen a lot of stories and videos about people falling asleep uh, in a Tesla while driving on autopilot in slow traffic, it's fast moving. Some of the videos are fake. I'm not going to even bother showing them to you. But this one... I have never, never heard before. So uh, a, a driver in uh, Oakville, Ontario, Canada, was driving 135 mile, uh, 135 kilometers per hour, which is 84 miles per hour, while he was flossing his teeth. I will not, I will not demonstrate for you. <laughs> he was flossing his teeth. Now, first of all, let me tell you, as a long distance driver of a Tesla, uh, using the autopilot is tremendous. You can floss your teeth while you're driving the Tesla on the highway. You can do that. And you can do that. However, I strongly suggest that you don't. I strongly suggest that you don't put, if you're a female or male, I don't, I don't judge, if you decide to put the makeup while you are autopilot. Or, I don't know, do the crossword puzzle or whatever. One of the biggest misconceptions of the Tesla Autopilot, it's its name. It's not an autopilot. It's a very amazing driver's assist, which makes your driving experience safer, pleasant, more relaxing, but you cannot take your hands off the wheel. If you do, Tesla will start nudging you and nudging you and beeping and screaming and eventually stop the car on the side with the, with the hazard lights on. But that's not what it meant. And I know that a lot of people in Tesla made it clear. I think, I think the original scene of Tesla is calling it autopilot. Because autopilot, you think about an airplane that is an autopilot. Or airplanes can do that. Cars, look, listen, a Tesla car can drive itself on the highway with, with very little of your intervention. It's against the law to, to get to take your hands off the wheel. And that's why Tesla is made it that you have to put your hand on the wheel. Otherwise, you'll get all this warning and then eventually it will dis disengage. The early Tesla, and I drove a Model S, early, early version one uh, autopilot that I drove, used to not require you to put your hands on the wheel without warning. This is no warning. No warning. In other words, you can drive and there will be no warning. So my Tesla brothers and sisters, Heed my lesson, heed my advice, not my lesson, heed my advice that you're not supposed to take your hands off the wheel. Now, it's very tempting. I'm not going to tell you that I don't do it. Sometimes I do do it. Now, what you can do, I can tell you the greatest thing about safety is great. You know, sometimes you have to do this or whatever, little things that, like if you're driving yourself, you're afraid to do, especially in traffic, so you don't smash somebody from behind, which is the number one cause of highway accidents, you know, pylon. You're not supposed to, to to engage in a whole different activity while you, but you can definitely sit back, relax, one hand or two hands, whatever it is. Tesla will ask you to move the wheel every now and then just to make sure that you're still alive. But driving 82, 84 miles per hour and flossing your teeth, that is a new one. What do you think about that, guys? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow.